You know, the format of Remember When is often criticized for being an unimaginative topic of conversation, but there's no lack of imagination at Poplar Hill Mansion. In fact, part of their goal is to encourage people to remember. All the way back to 1805, when the manor was constructed, what better way to do that than by celebrating with their annual Poplar Hill Mansion Festival? So with us this afternoon has all the details. This is Sarah Meyer. She's a curator with the Poplar Hill Mansion. Thanks for coming in this afternoon. Yeah, thank you yeah. for having me. So can you put, if you were to say there was one primary purpose for Poplar Hill Mansion, what would it be? To tell the story of the history of Salisbury. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, all the land that was once downtown Salisbury and most of the Newtown neighborhood in Salisbury was all land that once belonged to Poplar Hill. So the city was really built on the land that once belonged to Poplar Hill Mansion. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Now, you've been there for a while, so are, are there some things that you've learned along the way? Oh, it's been great. I've been there almost 10 years, uh -huh. so I'll be celebrating 10 years at Poplar Hill Mansion in July. Congratulations. So I'm, I'm happy to be there and love telling the history of not only Poplar Hill, but again, the, the history of Salisbury. Yeah. And I've learned so much about that history over the past 10 years. Are you still learning more Oh, things? absolutely. I learn things almost all the time. That's uh, cool. Reading new material and just uh, gathering all that information from different sources and just learning things all the time. Oh my, okay, so the festival, festival. What, what will we see at the festival? So Poplar Hill Mansion Festival is May 7th, Sunday, May 7th. It's from 12 to 4. And we have a lot of returning favorites. We have the live goats. That's always a favorite <laughs> for people. They love to see the goats. We have our Maypole. That was a big success last year. So Dancing Around the Maypole will be there this year. Uh, free tours of the museum, of course. Always love showing off the house. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And this year at the house, they get to see new paint in the house. We've restored three of the rooms on the first floor back to the second period of the house, which was the Houston period. Dr. Houston was the first family that lived in the house, so we restored the paint colors back to his era of the house. Plus, at the festival, we'll have the War of 1812 reenactors. We have our market square, so we have vendors who have local handcrafted items that they'll be selling. We have a lot of local nonprofits joining us this year. They're telling about their stories and their organizations. And we do have something brand new this year. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this brand new thing. We're doing a community curator's tent. So everyone collects something. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, little kids collect things, older people collect things, everyone collects something. So this is an opportunity from anyone from the public to come in and show off their collections. People who collect arrowheads or people might collect seashells. They're welcome to come in and just show off their collections and talk about their collections. That's a good idea, yeah, I like that. So why do you think places like Poplar Hill Mansion are so important? Uh, the preservation of the stories. Mm -hmm. um, so oftentimes we, we lose that history. People don't, I get a lot of people come in the mansion and they're like, oh, history is so boring. History is not boring. Right. If you know the real stories, history is not boring at all. History is some of the most fascinating stories that you can possibly tell. Yeah. So I think it's important to preserve those histories in order to preserve those stories, to pass that down through the generations. Okay, give us the where's and the wind. So again, the festival is May 7th mm -hmm. from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. And we will also open for tours every single Friday and Sunday from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So people can come in and have the opportunity to see the mansion, um, several opportunities. All right, looking forward to that. Put it on your calendar, May 7th, Poplar Hill Mansion Festival. Sarah Myers, thank you so much for stopping by. Again, thanks for having me.